Greetings, all you wonderful shitheads and lady fucks. My name is Manx. Welcome, <laughs> you guys. Back to you. Let's play Fire Emblem Dual Strike. No, not Dual Strike. That's that's the other let's play I'm doing. Um, hey, guest. Hey. You have been looking forward to this chapter, I know. Uh, yeah. I'm sure everyone else who's watching has been looking forward to this for a while. Chapter 10. It was amazing in Conquest. It was decent in Birthright. And I heard it's fucking god awful in Revelations. <laughs> hey, uh, what's your feelings on the winter season? Do you like snow? Oh, yeah, I'm from Norway, so naturally I do. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you like plowing snow? Oh, no. Okay, well, you're going to want to kill yourself. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? We're going to have to plow snow? See for yourself, <laughs> All right. my Norwegian comrade. <laughs> Chapter 10. Well, oh, I ain't going to let them some snow get the better of me. Chapter 10. Voice of a God. Fuga, leader of the Wind Tribe, gives Manga his approval to offer and offers aid. Manga continues on to Izumo to learn more of the legendary Seal of Flames. Let's see what kind of shit Isama has gotten himself into this time. Because God knows, he always ends up in some sort of a pitch because he's a fucking terrible leader, guys. <laughs> he's a fucking god-awful leader. And there's a reason his country is always knee-deep in shit whenever we come visit it. Because he only cares about love, peace, and chicken grease. He sucks. He sucks. He's a springs. bad leader. He's a bad leader, okay? <laughs> well, that's Isuma's central palace. There's something calming about it. Yes, Isuma has long been known as the kingdom of the gods. It only makes sense that the center is center of it would its power would radiate peace while all the other kingdoms quarrel it maintains a neutral stance i'm glad we made it here safely let's go find the archduke i am archduke isana it's gonna be so like isn't it first here yep. to the divine bloodline <laughs> descendants of the gods keeper of prophecies and winner of best here five or six times i forget it's so nice oh to finally God. meet you i imagine your journey here was quite difficult it's time to kick back and relax isumo is a wonderful place you could stay here forever Th thank you very much for such a warm greeting oh it's nothing you know i'm really glad you came i rarely have company i'm so excited i hardly feel like myself i don't understand why is he being so informal is this how major le leaders of the world are meant to behave? Yeah, in this world, Hayato. <laughs> Welcome to the real world, Hayato. I bet you <laughs> want to go back to the Wind Tribe now. <laughs> no, they don't normally act this way. He's just a special case. Pardon me, Archduke. We actually come here to ask you some questions. Oh, what about? Ask away, my friends. If you got any good gossip to share, I'd be ever so ple pleased to listen. We were wondering if you could share what you know about the Seal of Flames. Huh? The Seal of Flames? That sounds pretty boring to me. I don't bother remembering dull things. <laughs> I see. Just when we were th th just when I thought we were going to catch a break too. Hey now, don't look so disappointed. I prepared a feast for you inside. You should, should eat. be riding in three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> you should eat, drink, and be happy while there's still time to do so. Wait, are you sure you don't know anything about the Seal of Flames? Your the fate of the world may hang in the balance. Grr, I never said I. I said I've never heard of it. Of course you haven't, you imposter. Oh, Gunter! What? You're calling me an imposter? After I prepared the feast for you and all? Don't be coy with me, boy. Ah, uh, it didn't say boy. I just felt like saying it, because that sounds like something Gunter would say. It's plain to see you're hiding behind a magic of illusion. <gasps> Reveal yourself! Wow, Gunter has, like, illusion eyes now? Yep. Ah, Gunter, you're no fun at all. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? You thought that after two games, they bothered to write a different plot, but hey. Eehehe, <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Sola, I knew it was you behind that magic. Gunter, who is this? The, this cretin is a cretin is a Norian mage. He specializes in illusions and deception. But then where is the real Archduke? I'm afraid it's off to jail for him. The clink, the slammer, the cooler. Oh, cooler, that reminds me. It's time to make use of King Garon's ice bomb. Everyone, fire! Hehe. <laughs> Fire! The ice bomb. Eh. The ice bomb. What the? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get ready, everyone. The only thing that's on ice is this plot. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> no. Are, no. No. Welcome to 3DS Fire Emblem, Mangs. Are you shitting me right now? Yep. 
map. Nope, actually. Well, all right. Yeah. Got got to stay positive, guys. Remember, got to stay positive. All right. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Um. Are you gonna use Hayato? No. Sure, because he's actually like really competent in this mode. Um. Well, assess the straw poll. Should we use oh, Hayato? Right, we, already we already went over this. Yeah, Two hundred and fifty-seven votes. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, but, but, GG. but, 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 we are going to talk about him because uh, people got super pissed when I didn't choke kiss him last time. So yeah, Hayato, um, he starts out a lot higher level here compared to Birthrights. Um, I've heard he's pretty good, he's pretty tanky, and he's got a pretty cool skill in uh, Pride, although, since he starts out at level 9 here, he d gets a lot less use out of it, in my opinion. But still, yeah, I can, I, yeah? Uh, against promoted units, he goes off against them. Yep. So yeah, I think Hayato is definitely a good unit, but sadly, due to the straw poll not picking him, we're not gonna pick him. So yeah, the straw He's poll, really, yeah. straw poll conquers all. Strong straw poll decides the fate of everyone. So, so yeah. Um, well, let's just go. All right. So you gotta be a little bit wary on this map, but since your units are fucking like on steroids, it's probably a non-issue. <laughs> They're not that good. Okay, they're, they're pretty good. It's incredible. They've done something to encase the entire town in ice. We'll have to break through. The enemy's probably using this ice as cover. Be careful. How are they not dead? Don't ask me. They're man. inside ice. Have you ever, have you ever like, felt ice gas? It's fucking cold. Dude, I'm fucking Canadian. <laughs> you know, that's, I, I was sure you were American. I didn't know you were Canadian until someone pointed it out. Yeah, I'm Canadian, man. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, this is sort of like a shitty fog of war as well, where if you shitty fog like, of war. if you um, break the break the ice or break the snow, yeah. and it and uh, oh, sometimes that'll happen. But if you leave like your squishy units in like range of them, yeah. and they stopped moving, then they're kind of fucked. That's what happened to me once or twice. Yeah. So I mean, it's probably not a big deal for you since like all your units are like infinitely stronger than these ones. Um. So can they attack me through the ice? No, they can't. All right. So they're just they're all encased in ice until you thaw them out. So just just to be safe, never never thaw out the ice with your final character essentially. You you I I think what what I did is pretty much just like thaw the ice with your strong units and then keep Azura free. Yeah. And in case one of your shitty units are in trouble. Yeah, I see. I see then you can get them out of harm's way. I see. And you can, like, every item, every enemy drops an item. Wow, really? Every it's single like, one. Every single one? Every single enemy drops an item. That's matter. retarded. Yep. Ow! Come on, really? 29% chance, really, Fates? Wow, look at me. Hehe, <laughs> look at me. You think All that's right. bad? Uh, I was on chapter 17. Yeah? And, uh... Scarlet, yeah, missed an 86. Oh, and died. Scarlet, she's and pretty high is, on the straw poll. Yeah, and the thing is with with chapters 16 and 17 in Revelations is that it's a, like a two-parter. Yeah. So if you lose a unit in the second part, and you want it back, you have to do the first part over. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I'm I'm plowing ice. We. Yeah. It's not that bad though. You get a pretty big chunk of the ice gets plowed every time you. Do anything, so I, it's not it's not all bad. Uh, yeah, it's just hysterically boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the oh. thing with Revelations. It's not like it's not like unfairly bad. It's just like it's really boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I thought I was gonna have to knock away one ice chunk at a time. So when I saw it, I was like, oh fuck no. But at least at least they had the decency to allow you to knock off multiple things. Also, why doesn't my button work? There we go. No, my button... Ugh, everything about my DS stops working. There we <laughs> go. Okay, now it works again. Just had a little bit of thing under it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna... Look. Or can I visit these houses? I don't think so. I All think right. this is a barren wasteland of, living, of no one living there. Wow, this is... This is not a good gimmick. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is this is not a good this is not a good gimmick guest. Oh, come nope. on, really? This is this this gimmick sucks. <laughs> I just, uh, this is just, oh my god, what can I say? It sucks! 
<laughs> yeah, man. Oh my god, in before. Oh, we're gonna get so many comments about No, Eli. I think the consensus is that this map is utter <laughs> trash. <laughs> Gast is making Mangs hate the game. If it wasn't for Gast, Mangs would love Revelations. Gast is just making Mangs hate the game. Me, me. Ah! Oh shit. Ta da. Oh, oh, that's not cool. That's what I meant. Alright, well, we have sword catcher. probably still fine, though. I'm so fine. I'm so fine, Gast. Look at me. Oh, I have the sword I, catcher. Yeah, and I was thinking over what we did yesterday, and there were two things that I should be clear, that I should mention, is that uh, Mozu is really fucking amazing already, but if yeah. you wanted to give her quick draw, you can reclass her into an archer and get her to level 5, and she'll learn, she'll get plus 4 damage on if she, if he, if she initiates an attack. Oh, really? But she's already gonna cap strength like like insanely high so you probably don't really need it probably also not. um it's it wasn't the part it wasn't the heart seal that got that could have been that could have gotten gunter to a what a ninja oh it's yeah. a uh it's a partner seal that's what it is okay strength speed defense resistance. but we can't do it anyway because he doesn't have a fucking support <laughs> yeah yeah that kind of sucks it does suck we're so, gonna get it on with that guy. Yeah, I was I was looking forward to kissing his wrinkly old lips and uh, sucking his wrinkly old dick. <laughs> oh, PG thirteen. Ah, there we go. But yeah, sadly, sadly, that was not to be. Anyway, this is good experience for Casa. Ooh, arm scroll. Uh -huh. Yes, please. You get a bunch of stat buffs too. Yes, please. I know. I know many people who would really want that arm scroll. Casa, uh, for once, would love it. But I think I'm gonna save it because I think there's some units down the line who would benefit more from it. I think I'm actually gonna save it for Mosu when she promotes, so she doesn't have to get go through like E rank in in both. In oh crap, she already capped her lance rank. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Well, let's continue to break through the ice. Hello. Okay, that was boring. Hello. That was also really boring. And that's the, the problem with this gimmick is that it forces you to play ridiculously slow because if you break through too much of the ice, you're gonna encounter a big pack of enemy when all of your guys have moved. Yeah. And you don't want that. And you and you don't really have an you don't really have the worry of, of dealing of like dealing the issue with like squishy units. Whereas when I was doing it, I um Hannah died. Because Hannah's made of like Yeah. Fucking, like Tin foil like paper? She's, she's, yeah, she's made of toilet paper. Yeah. And so it, oh. it happened to me, and I was like, wow. So, like, not only do you want me to, like, fucking plow through this dumb snow, but I can't even do it quickly, or else, <laughs> like, I don't know what's, a, like, I don't know what's there. Like, at least with the actual fog of war, you had a torch. Yeah. It's like, I just don't know what they were going for when they were doing this. And... I don't want to sound too cheesed, but like, what? This is just like not Fire Emblem to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think like I think the issue here is that they really want to like this is this is the thing, right? And I think this is actually something that 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 the team that designed Fates kind of forgot about. You don't need to have a like. I know. I know. I say that every map should have a gimmick, and I do. And I do think wholeheartedly that every map should have some sort of special gimmick to it. But sometimes just designing a really solid map is more than enough. You don't need like what they thought here, and I see what they thought here was, "Ooh, we're gonna have a map in the Isumoa village." Let's cover it in ice. Like, why? We need we need something new and different. We can't just have a standard village fight map. They're, they're bored of that already. We need a gimmick. Okay, let's cover the entire map in ice. All right, let's do that. Okay, now we made the map super interesting. Yay! But, like, what they failed to realize was that sometimes a gimmick can take away from a map's enjoy, uh, enjoy, enjoyfulness, if you can even use that word. Um, Remember yesterday when we were t when I when I t when I spoke about like the balance of gimmicks yeah. and how Fates has a tendency to either go really like like not good with gimmicks in the sense that it's totally worthless or really not good with gimmicks in the sense that it's really excessive and like sh totally like in your face and unnecessary. Yep. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. It's like it's like revelations 
uh, like I'm on chapter 17 and like it still is having a hard time trying to like find the right balance and it's just like it just feels like they're like whoever's designing just like doesn't know what they're doing at all <laughs> which, which I mean leads for me Conquest yeah. it was like they were like on point like every chapter some chapters were like kind of they kind of squandered it but like for the most part it was like incredible yeah yeah, it, it's insane how much correct, how, like how correctly they did conquest. It's not even funny how good they were at designing conquests. Like, yeah, and it's like I feel like they were just this whole game really feels like it was cobbled together at the last minute, barely even tested, just got the bare bones of everything and just called it a day and sold it for thirty bucks. To me, it kind of sounds like they probably, they probably run either run out of budget space. Also, I, I, I know Solas right there, but considering every single enemy on this map drops something, I really don't want to kill him. Yeah, you don't... So, like, you on the bottom, I think, mo on the bottom there yeah. with all the snow is where most of the, the stat drop yeah. items are, or the stat boosting, like, you can get... I think Goddess Icon, the Draco Shield, like, all, like everything nice. You got you can get a Meteor Tome yeah. as well. Oh wow! Really? Mjolnir. Yeah, you can get you can get a fuck ton of good weapons. Or last I remember, you get cool. a bunch of you get a bunch of good shit here. Hmm. Interesting. Um, it's just yeah, if you want to go through the trouble. Well, of play, con considering playing, like, considering the many of the considering so many of the units I get are underscaled, I definitely do appreciate the stat boosters to make them relevant. Here I, am. I just don't understand why they just, they just don't like make them relevant to begin with. Like just <laughs> like I don't understand why. Won. The decision was made for. I mean, you'll see the. I, I won't say anything about the balancing because you haven't seen like how, how the balancing ends up being. Yeah. When you get all the units. Um. So I'll I'll let you I'll let, I'll give you an unbiased, un a fresh take on what what you think the balancing is for this game. So I won't say anything about that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Well. Uh, so far, I just think that they're they're having some scaling issues, but the balance isn't horrible. I didn't expect this to be as hard as conquests. <laughs> Doink. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. Fare but yeah, thee I'm, well. I'm definitely gonna go through the trouble of getting some of the stat boosters, though. I, I think that they are definitely worth it, and I would, because I plan on using some characters that I think are gonna be tricky to use. Oh wait, I can't go through here. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Oh no, there's a wall here. Ah, there's a wall here. Interesting. There we go. Oh, hello. Ha, huh, iron bow. Uh, let us... What's the mercenary doing with the bow, anyway? Yeah, what the fuck's that shit? Get I have a flame together, shuriken. Man. Frame oh, shuriken! Frame if, shuriken! Uh, Zola. What? Zola. I wonder if these soldiers were killed by Corrin. Hmm. I don't hmm. know. Sometimes they just forget to tell us. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes these like Corin's like you know, a little bit you know she sometimes she's in a good moods other times she's not you know sometimes she kills people other times she doesn't you know it's, it's a little bit up to chance really the, most of the stat boosters are on the bottom by the way all right so there's not much to find here there's not really much on the top all right boink I'm fairly certain all right oh I'm just gonna plow through the ice here that's what we do in Norway after all. Plow! It's Christmas in July! There's one. Heart seal. Definitely want to kill that guy. Dual Naginata. Yeah. Oh man, I did some... Uh, after I lost in Chapter 17, I just did some grinding and I got... Um, I, I, I shipped Keaton and Camilla. Yeah. And I actually reclassed Keaton... I heart sealed Keaton into a fighter. Yeah. Um, and so I heart sealed he still him have? Does he still have his beast killer? Uh, his beast killer, it's still there, but it only works if you're in animal form. Really? Yeah, that, so that's the thing with the, uh, the beast killer is that it can, it only works for, like, beast units, because it's like... Ah, I see. So, but anyway, um, I made him into a fighter, and then I gave him some fighter skills, and then I shipped her, I shipped him with Camilla. Their support conversations are so god-awful. <laughs> it's so <laughs> bad, man. They're really brutal support conversations. I've read through all of the Camilla supports, because I'm going to make a Camilla spotlights, but I actually don't remember the Keaton Camilla spotlight, or the uh, yeah, their, yeah, their conversation. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty much, uh, he shows her his bone collection, and she's like, what the fuck? And then he's like, and then he like, 
jump beats around the bush about asking her to marry oh him and that then... is most of the fate support conversations though yeah <laughs> hello it's, it's i baked really you shit. i baked you a pie and i'll be my husband it's like <laughs> it's not not much there let's be honest yeah so i re so i got camilla to learn i got camilla level five she learns uh savage blow and <laughs> then i hearts i got i partner sealed her into a into a berserker and now she's a berserker oh and, yeah and i'm gonna get keaton to i promoted him into a wolf singer guy yeah and now i'm gonna reclass him back into a fighter and then get him to just learn all these crazy offensive stats that's cool. And they bring him back to a wolf singer. He's just gonna be like a fucking. Powerhouse. I do, I do enjoy the sandbox elements of Fates and Awakening, and this is something that Mr. Antonem pointed out. Um, they are very much sandboxy in the fact that you can pretty much create whatever you want if you have the creativity and the understanding of the game mechanics. You can create these ridiculous units using the skills and the heart seals and the partner seals and everything. And I do like that aspect of that. Like, it, they kind of like, but it's very easy to break the game. But if breaking the game is what you enjoy, then Fates is going to give you a good time. The thing is with breaking the game, though, is that, like, yeah, it's it, you can break it, kind of, but, like, um... I as, oh, like the whole shuffling between like reclassing and stuff and being flexible with skills and trying oh. to find what you think is oh, fun crap. is probably oh GG. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Do you have a freeze tome? You have freeze. Yeah, you can use I, a freeze. I, I have a freeze. So I'm gonna use a freeze. Uh, that's definitely my favorite aspect about fates is the the depth of being able to like make your like make your team. Yeah. But that's pretty much the only thing I find that <laughs> that Revelations offers. And Whoops. I think that's kind of the point. Oh, God. Whoops. I think I'm fine, though. No, they don't have range, so you'll be fine. Oh, shit. No, I'm not fine. Oh, no. Go. I'm not fine. I am. I knew this would happen. I fucking so <laughs> well knew this would happen. This boredom is going to start overtaking me. And Oh, can you? Never mind. Oh no! Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I won't kill this guy. I won't kill this guy. See you. Unless that guy has a hand axe, I'm fine. Uh. Unless that guy has a hand axe, I'm fine. Don't have a hand axe. Please don't have a hand axe. Please don't have a hand axe. Please don't. I don't want to start over. I don't want to do this map again. What? Then it would be the eternal winter. Oh. Hey. hey. Hashtag fe6. Hey. Fuck off. The most forgettable like. Ow. Lot. <laughs> Eternal winter. Fuck yes. I like when I played that game oh. like a third time through. I was like, "What's the Eternal Winter?" <laughs> I don't even know. All right, so I gotta rescue Jacob now. Um, so I'm gonna have to go up here. Does he not have any items? He doesn't have. I, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, there's no one there. Good. So I need to go up here and rescue him. He does not have any items. Wink. Okay, Gast, tell me to stop doing stupid shit now. Uh, tell me, tell I me. said not go up, and you went up. Tell me, tell <laughs> me to stop doing stupid shit now. Well, don't, uh, don't attack things with Mozu, or Thank you. Jacob. There you and go. stop doing stupid shit. Say it. Stop doing stupid shit, man. Nice. Thanks, Gast. Say it to me at the start of every turn. Be a good coast. <laughs> Was I Yuki hit this map. Yeah. Was, yeah. was Yuki Mura your only um, mechanist um, in Birthright? Yes, I do believe I had the. Yeah, yeah, he was. Are they good? I'm not sure. Well, I, they probably are good. They have decent skill. They have replicate. Replicate. Yeah, I've never used that skill, but I heard it's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Uh, Speed wings. They also have Golem Bane. Oh. Oh yeah, that's that's handy for some chapters. I can imagine. Yeah, and it's probably. Come on. Revelations, but I was thinking of turning Saizo into a mechanist because I have my Kaze as a master ninja. Ah, yeah, that could work. Saizo's right. kind of shit in my run though. It's unfortunate. He does have a lot of defense, doesn't he? It's not his game. Yeah, he's supposed to be like a like strong, but he only has like ten base strength, and he's oh. like level thirteen. <laughs> really? Or he huh. has ten strength right now. Hmm. And, Oh well. Uh, well, we're breaking the ice. 
think we're mm -hmm. almost done breaking this ice now. Yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna break this ice. Actually, no, I'm not gonna break this ice. There you go. But I'm gonna break this ice. Attaboy, I have a Still fucking. Learning. I have a dry. Oh. It's okay. They suck. It's fine. They suck. I have a fucking dragon stone, guys. That's fine. Lol. Can right. you imagine if, like, the foxtail showed up on, like, the dragon model? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, cool. Or, like, the beret as well. That'd be hilarious. Let's see. Six damage, six damage. Yeah, it's fine. I can kill him. Although, I should probably wait. But I'm going to equip my 11 sword. Because that is why I carry my 11 sword. Wow, Sakura. You really do not know how to heal. Anyway, Jacob, let's go up and clear some more snow. Because you barely died the last time, and that was super fun. Oh, you're gonna risk it again. Yep. Okay. <laughs> sure am. Oh. Oh, oh my god, the perfectionist in me. The perfectionist in me needs to clear all the ice! <laughs> I can't help it, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this map. <laughs> Don't right. make me do it, please! So why on earth does suddenly Corin? Corrin suddenly doesn't double here anymore. What the fuck? She doubled last turn. Now she doubles. Okay, that's weird. God, the javelin in this game, guys. The fucking javelin looks so ugly. What were I they? Know. What were they it's thinking? So weird. It's the worst <laughs> model, and like, it's the worst. And there's so many other really fantastic ones. It's like the design art team just let their child do one of the weapons. Like, hey, you can design the javelin. Yay! Alright, this is stupid. I like ah! 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 Oh god. Why Get over 